Hello everybody, it's Michelle here. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I have, <laughs> laughing because over the weekend, I uh, said, hey y'all, like if you wanna come, you know, get a personal reading before the 1010 portal, you know, come on in. I'll try to get them to you before then. And it only gave me like two days to do dozens of readings, which is fine because interestingly enough, I was jazzed about it. I was like, and, and like the messages were really flowing through. It was really cool. So maybe we'll start doing this more regularly. But if you want, go ahead and sign up for a reading. Don't worry about it because even if you're just hearing about it today and you're like, well, I'm past the 1010 portal or whatever, uh, you can still work with the energy for a good while to come. So <laughs> angelsouls444.com. Please check out the description box because I have so many lives coming up. As of the recording of this, I haven't actually touched base with the Bright platform yet, but I think I want to do um, next week, I wanna do like a 1010 portal follow-up to see how people are doing. And if anything came up for them, I think it'd be very, it'd be interesting as a hangout. And uh, eventually I wanna do one for light workers. I wanna talk about the angelic self, you know. So I have lots of content coming up there. Make sure you check it out. And did I tell you I was on TikTok? I'm on TikTok. You want to follow me over there? It's Angel Souls 444 on TikTok. Because I don't know who had Angel Souls, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> so we have, remember who you are. Look at that. This is the breakthrough moment, guys. This is the moment where you don't have to live under conditioning. You don't have to live under tyranny. You don't have to live under um, pressure to be something that you're not, <laughs> right? So this is Archangel Michael. Michael protects, Michael gives clarity, Michael is the spirit warrior. So if you need to embrace some of that energy, where do you need to be more of a spiritual warrior in your own life? Now see, people equate spiritual or nice or a good person to being always polite, That is the biggest piece of conditioning we could possibly engage in. Why? You never call people out on their stuff. People take advantage of your kindness. They take advantage of your finances, your home. You don't have boundaries. You're supposed to be a nice person. I should be allowed to just take whatever I want from you and what are you gonna do about it? When we give into that sort of conditioning, we're amping up the evil. We're giving it a room to stay in. So this is a very hard time as you remember who you are. Michael is get real. Archangel Michael is very much, here's the clarity. This is what you need to know. Where do you need to stand up in your life? And it's not going off and telling that one coworker that you don't like telling them off. Who cares? And are you, are you not liking them for real reasons or because of some issue you have? Sit with that. I'm talking about not being an enabler. And if you are actually able to be around toxic people and it doesn't do anything to you, there's something in you that vibrates with that toxicity. Now you might be the best person ever, but in your want to fit in, you changed who you are. You're being called back to the light now. Remember who you are. You are not like that group of people. You are not somebody who makes fun of anybody. You are not somebody who looks down upon others. So don't show up for it. Don't hang out with those people. Don't give them your energy and they will come to you and say, oh, I miss you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I need, yeah. Because they're starving without your light. They're fumbling around in the darkness because they don't have you as their torch. Let it go. The time has come where people like that either need to learn to make their own light which is a lot of soul turnover, a lot of coming to Jesus, if you want to say it that way, um, having your coming to Jesus moment, 
or you get used to the dark. And as much as the dark wants to pretend to be powerful, what can you see in the dark? What do you know in the dark? Really, it's just kind of denial. If you think about it. So this card says you are powerful. Excuse me. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. You need to look around. You need to see what you have engaged in. And is that good enough anymore? It's okay to stand up for yourself. I love you. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care.